Mm -hmm. Okay. You said uh, social media platforms like Facebook, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have some um, some information here, like uh, the most popular Android apps in the Google Play Store. We have Facebook, four thousand and one hundred nineteen billion downloads. Facebook Messenger or Messenger, it's three thousand four eight billion downloads. WhatsApp. Uh, sorry, there is another person. Okay, more than 2,000 billions. Instagram, one, uh, 1,843 billion. Skype. And we have uh, Subways, Surfers, and Twitter. Clean Master, that, uh, this one that uh, clean viruses, etc. Okay. Let's move to uh, second part. Scroll down. Read and complete the appropriate words. Just a second. Who wants to read this paragraph here and then we will fill the gaps? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay. I can't hear you. The first public mobile phone call was was made by Uh sorry, wait a second, wait a second, I can't hear you. Iman, would you like to open your mic? Put on your mic, Iman, and talk. I think, yeah, me too. Ah, great, so I thought that the problem is with me. Okay. Uh, please, another person to read. Sorry, uh, Ryan, I can't hear you. Please. That is my problem, I have a problem with uh, my mic. Okay, no problem, Ryan. Who wants to read? Yeah, read. I can read if you want. Okay. Of course. The first public um, cellular. Yeah. Cellular yeah, cellular phone. The phone was made by Martin Cooper of uh, Motorola on 3rd April 1973 in a publicity stunt in New York. Mm -hmm. There would be another 10 years of R&D. However, before the first, mm -hmm. the first, who knows the answer? What is it? Mobile. Yeah, cell phone. Mm -hmm. Cell phone would hit the market. The Dynatac 8000X weighted in around two pounds cost four thousand dollars and did not run any apps. Mm -hmm. Thank you. This is young. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Should yeah, I continue? I yeah, continue, yeah. Okay. PS Yun Epoch. The first recognizable applications came with the uh, PS I don't know how it's pronounced. Yeah, can how should you pronounce it? I don't know. It's uh, I think it's uh, it's brand or something. Yeah, I, yeah. It's probably good. Okay. PS Young range of uh, 
of computers of mm. who knows the answer what's got the and answer computers i guess operating system there's the computers what right actually Operating system, it's operating system. Okay. Compu operating system computers, mostly PDAs, that mm -hmm. use the epoch. Mm -hmm. um, the epoch, I think here it's operating system. Or here the operating system. Yeah, because the epoch is the operating system. So what, yeah. do, we, what do we have to use for three? I think handheld. Ah, it is hand handheld. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Handheld. It is handheld. The range of handheld computers and then epoch operating system. Yeah, you are right. Yes. Mm -hmm. First released in the early 90s, the 16. Mm, By machine. machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Seaboot, which run epoch, allowed users to programs such mm -hmm. as word processor. Mm -hmm. Database. Yeah, database. Spreadsheet and the yeah. theory. Mm -hmm. Later models in the mm -hmm. the range running. The range. Mm -hmm. Running a thirty-two bit uh, OS would come up with two, with up to two megabyte RAM and allow users to add additional apps via software packs. Yeah, thank you. Or via download, if you were lucky enough to own a modem. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, I have to wait a second. Mm -hmm. Then history of mobile applications. Read the passage, then find the, uh, the following statements. Okay. Who wants to read the text? Uh, I do. Okay. Thank you. Salman, I guess. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Uh, should I start reading? Yeah. And then you we answer the questions. Okay, the old photos show a young man, white shirt rolled at the sleeves and wearing a small bow tie, waving his arms excitedly as he gave a conference speech in Aspen in the summer of 1983. This was Steve Jobs, six months away from launching the first Macintosh, 24 years before the first iPhone, 27 years before the first iPad, the day in Aspen Jobs predicted the evolution of a new digital distribution system. It would be a little like a record store, he said, where software will be downloaded over phone lines, jobs, sell apps, and app stores coming. Apps emerged from early PDAs through the, uh, through the addictively simple game Snake on the Nokia 6110 phone. Uh, uh, sorry, just one moment. Do you remember this game? Snake? I think everyone yeah. does, yeah. <laughs> yeah, carry on. To the first 500 apps in the Apple Store when it made its debut in July 28. Mm -hmm. Matthew Panzerino, co-editor of TechCrunch, has charted three phases of app development that took mobile technology from telephony to gaming and utilities, to apps that wanted to be your home screen and dominate your experience, to apps armed with content that are more about maximizing their usefulness without dominating your attention. So what comes next? Mm -hmm. The volume of content produced is going to lead us towards managing our apps in a different way. The most persuasive concept is the idea of the card, a design treatment you can already see on Twitter and Facebook across different devices, and which allows content to be aggregated and presented to the user in a consistent way. Secondly, mobile is moving out of the pocket and becoming wearable. With the growth of wearable tech, the need for intelligent aggregation of content will fuel app innovation. 
One possible future is that apps as we know them will currently cease to exist at all, being replaced by brand names and services that give you actionable insights throughout the day. Imagine a customized news feed full of services you use, presented at the right time. Think of how Google Now might evolve, for example. Thirdly, the idea of multi-screen will become every screen. App developers will not design for desktop on mobile anymore. They will design a single experience that will stretch across any internet-connected terminal. That brings us back to the concept of cards and how content presented in this way could work well for users on almost any type of screen and be meaningful. So the future of the app may be no future at all as we move to an era of seamless connectivity and experience wherever we are and whatever the device we use. Thank you so much. I enjoyed your reading. Thank you. Okay, go back to the first questions. Uh, here we have a design treatment that allows the content to be aggregated and presented to the user in a consistent way. What is it? At the every uh, screen yeah. thing we were doing, or uh, the cards thing we are reading about? Yeah, the idea of the cards. Yeah, thank you. Uh, possible future for mobile apps? There may be no future for mobile apps. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, goodbye. Mm. Sorry. Uh, what did you say, Silman? Uh, I said there might be there might be no future for, for mobile apps. Yeah, because it is said that they will maybe eventually stop to like, exist or cease to exist. Yeah. Okay. Um, just a second. Sorry. Third question, the way mobile apps had emerged in human life. Or how did they emerge in human life? Um, they might uh, uh, invade our private space. Uh, the more uh, the more high tech uh, gadgets we use, the the more invasive they become. Uh, okay, but uh, dip, uh, going back to the text or co focusing on the text, uh, the, uh, the answer is on the text. So. Yes, uh, uh, yes, they, they oh they become uh, they will try to uh, okay try to manage your time. Yes. Okay, so apps emerged from early uh, PDAS through the uh, addictively simple game Snake. So this is the way they started uh, or they emerged. Don't you agree? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. okay. Uh, wait a second, I guess there is another person who would like to join. Mira. Okay. A unique technique, where am I? Yeah, four. A unique technique of mobile app development. Um. Uh. <laughs> 
Well, the text oh, is too yes. long. Uh, we kind of need it to be. It is in okay. Our it way. is on paragraph. Okay, it is on paragraph three. Uh, yes. Yeah, so do we have access to the PDF, or do we have to look at the screen? Because I don't think I have the PDF on me right now. I already asked uh, Iman to share the PDF with you. Oh. Oh, okay. I apologize. Uh, Iman, would you like to scroll uh, scroll down or up? Wait a second. Iman, would you like to scroll down? Uh, he must review the the text, paragraph three. That is the answer of the last question. Yeah. Okay, so he ch has charted or has planned three phases of up to, of application development. So there are three phases of application development. Okay. Oh yeah, some of them uh, just wanted to be games and utilities. Then uh, they became apps that try to invade the whole experience, uh, like home screens and stuff. And then uh, people became uh, uh, people started developing uh, apps that weren't as invasive, but helped you manage your time without being uh, without taking over your phone completely. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Okay. We have here just a second. Yeah, look at this extract from the text. What do the underlined? Where am I saying? Where am I? Okay. What do the words? Ah, uh, yeah, in bold refer to. So the first sentence, the apps that want it to be your home screen. So you're here. What does it refer to? The user. Is... Yeah. Or the clients. Okay produced uh, is going to lead us towards managing uh, just a second sorry there are another oh no ah uh, yeah Okay, what do you think here, us? What does it refer to? Produced is going to lead us towards managing. Us. It's us. Users. Users, Users humans uh, in general. Yeah, thank you. Okay. It would be a little like a record store. the experience and oh, we have to look at the text <laughs> paragraph two yeah go back to the text paragraph two okay what about four they will design a single experience they who would design a single experience the developers. developers yeah 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 okay what about three look for it uh it the new experience four. Evolution uh, of the app store. It would be like a little. Okay, let me go back to the text. It, it it's the here. evolution of the new digital distribution system. Isn't he talking about the application itself? No, or he's talking how? about about the, talking about the new digital okay. distribution system. Let me read. Let me read. Mm, it is linked to the first paragraph. Yeah, you've got the right. I think yeah. here it's about the, the yeah the distribution uh, yeah distribution system. And then he said it would be like a record store. He said I thought it's about application. Okay.
Okay. Here we have um, the ways we express uh, comparisons, similarity, superiority, etc. Yeah. The first one you have equivalence. Follow with me. For example, you say as smart as or as uh, big as. Uh, to show similarity, you have as many as, as much as, the same as, similar to, the same. Those expressions here, uh, or these words here, are used to express similarity. As similar, equal to, is like, or as, similarly, or similar, equal, equally, compared to, or compared with, compared with, sorry, each, either, all, both, and alike. I would like to read the examples here down the box. Are you following with me? Yes, miss. Yes, yes. Yeah. OK. Who would like to read the examples? I can do it. If OK. Yes. Yeah. OK. Examples. One, here the term processor is equivalent to the central processing unit. Two. OK, so it is clear. Yeah, so it is equivalent to, so it is similar to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, laptops are as powerful as microcomputers. Okay, so here we have as and then as. When you use as and as to show similarity, it doesn't matter whether there is short or long adjectives, you can use it with both. For example, as big as or as expensive as, for example, big is short adjective, expensive is long adjective. Okay, carry on. Three, some companies have as many computers as employees. Okay, as many as, yeah. Four, some companies use both disks and conventional filling systems for storing data. Mm -hmm. a, com a computer's virus is like a virus in the human body. It can do a lot of damage. Okay, can you replace like with something else to show similarity? Mm. It's similar to a virus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. kind of... Kind of, yeah. uh, kind of uh, no, it kind of like, I uh, know, not, not, not really. Um, is as, is as a virus. Is the same uh, as... It, it is as harmful as a virus. We should use an adjective, not a noun, mm -hmm. when but we use say, as, uh, as. It is the same as a virus. Okay. For six, thank you, six. Many, many word processing programs are similar in that they share the certain common functions. Okay, so this expression here, expressions are used to, to express similarity for or equivalence. Here, no equivalence. The following words and constructions are used to compare or construct contrast things or people that are separate from each other. Yeah, not as as it is the, the opposite of as as you say not as big as or not uh, short as etc. And then here, what do we add er? What do we add er and then then when we compare between two things? Or two when people. You compare, uh, uh, compare the word uh, like an adjective, like bigger, better, harder. Okay. Adjectives. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is specifically for uh, short adjectives. Okay. And when do we use more? So for when, long uh, adjectives. Adjectives are long, like more beautiful, more handsome, more expensive. Yeah, because. Thank you so much, because it's already too long. We cannot add ER. Imagine the word expensive, for example, or beautiful, and then you would add beautiful, or you can even pronounce it. Okay. And then here, fewer. Fewer than here, uh, there is like priority, more superiority, and then fewer here, or less, it is inferiority. Okay. Uh, because when we compare two things, either one thing is superior than the other or it is inferior. So we can use both more to show superiority and less to show inferiority. Okay, here we have greater than because great is short adjective. So we add er. Yeah, not as many as, not as much as as, not equal to, unequally. This is the verse of, uh, this is the opposite of uh, equal. Unlike. Not the same as, not all. Okay. So here we have some examples. All right. Who would like to read? Can I? Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. A mainframe is larger and more expensive than a microcomputer. Yeah, so you notice here large is a short adjective, so we have added ER. And then expensive, as we said, is long adjective, so we have uh, used more before the adjective and then then. Yeah. Learning to use a computer is not as difficult as learning the program. Okay, so it is not, yeah, so it's not similar. Okay, it's not similarity. Yeah. A fax board costs uh, cost less than a fax machine. Yeah, it is comparison, but there is here inferiority. Yeah. Unlike factory sealed software, pirated versions contain viruses. Mm -hmm. Desktop publishing is the same as electronic publishing. Mm -hmm. You can save money with network because you will need fewer printers. Okay, thank you. Here we have superlative, it's not a comparison because comparison we compare between two things. But when we speak about superlative, it is like the best of its kind. Yeah. And here uh, for short adjective, we use the and then short adjective plus est. And then when it is long adjective, we add the most and then the adjective. And when, uh, when it is uh, when it is, uh, it is uh, inferiority, we use the list. When it is inferior, we use the list. Okay. Who would like to read the, the sentences here? May I? Yep. Thank you. This is the most popular package on the market today. Mm -hmm. Basic is probably the least difficult programming language to learn. Mm -hmm. The best programs are those adapted specifically to your own needs. Okay, so here uh, it is about superlative uh, form of adjectives. Okay, complete, complete the sentences using the comparative form of the adjectives in brackets. Okay, what do we say for the first one? Laser printer is generally... Quieter. Yeah. Okay. It's a quieter. Yeah. Quieter then, because it's short adjective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We add er for comparison. One thing is better than the other. Yeah. Uh, the second one b. Uh, multi multi function printers are now slightly. Uh, uh, now, only slightly conventional printers and offer much greater mm -hmm. veracity. Yeah, thank you. Then see, the print quality of this network printer, yeah, is noticeably... Better. Better. We say better here and then as similar. Oh, oh yeah, as good as uh, oh, as good as sim uh, similar laser printers. Yeah, thank you. And then the the aqua plate oh, scepter scepter is uh, is more reliable, more reliable. It's easier to use. Yeah, even if you pronounce it, you can add a reliable. Like you can't pronounce it. It's more re reliable and. Easier to use than most printers of its type. Yeah, as easy as that. Okay, E, thank you. E. Your printer is only as good as the paper you use. Yep. Easy peasy. Okay, F. The final result is always more accurate than the original image. Mm hmm. G. An image center is heavier, heavier than heavier. Heavier. the printer. And how do we how do we write heavier? Why? -E uh, no, uh, we uh, remove the Y. We add an I. Y I E E R. -E -E yep. So usually when there is uh, when there is Y at the end, we remove it and then we add uh, we add uh, I E R, like happy happier. Okay, I'm gonna write. Uh, is it clear? Yes. Okay. 
So here, the following sentences express computer capabilities and limitations. Decide whether the sentences express equivalence, non-equivalence, or the superlative, then underline the words expressing the comparison. Okay, who would like to read the first one? So you read the sentence and then you say whether it expresses uh, equivalence or similarity or no equivalence or superlative. Yeah. Okay, the first one. Oh, should we read it? Yeah, the first one. Read it and then we decide what does it express. Mm -hmm. Speeds for performing decision-making operations are comparable to those for the arithmetic operations. Okay, what do you think? What does it express? Does it express superlative? Equivalence. It is equivalence because there is are comparable. It's not uncomparable, mm. but it is comparable. It's obvious. Yeah. So the word comparable here, uh, it shows us similarity. Yeah. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Sorry, just a second. Yep. The second one. Yes. Yep. Even the most sophisticated computer, no matter how good it is, must be told what to do. Okay. Um, superlative. Yeah, the most sophisticated. Most so when there is, yeah, it's obvious. When there is the and then the most, because here it is long adjective, so we say the most. And the most sophisticated, this is, uh, this is this is the one that we should underline. Yeah, because the, it is said, uh, then underline the words expressing the comparison. Okay, three. Yes. Yeah. Oh, a computer can perform similar operations. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's expression similarities and equivalence yeah. because of yeah. the word similar. Yeah, thank you. For, For example, For example <laughs> modern computers can solve certain classes of arithmetic problems millions of times faster than a skilled mathematician. What do you think? Faster because uh, 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 it's, a uh, comparison. it's a comparison. Yeah, it is no equivalence. It is comparison. Yeah. They are not equivalent, yeah, because, because of the word faster, yeah. So it is short adjective. This is why we added er, yeah. The fifth one. Who wants to read? Uh, miss? Yep. One of the most important reasons why computers are used so widely today is that almost every big problem can be solved by solving a number of little problems. What do you think? Um, is that almost... Uh, miss, we have the most uh, superlative. Yeah, the most important, because important is long adjective. Uh, it contains more than one syllable, so it is long adjective, and we say the most there is the most, so it is superlative. Okay, six. Okay. Finally, a computer, unlike a human being, has no intuition. Of course, it doesn't have intuition. It is unlike comparison. Yeah, it is compared because there is unlike. It is the opposite of like. Like shows similarity. Unlike shows uh, no equivalence. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on to a question. Where am I? This one, I guess it's easy. Okay. Complete the sentences with separative form of the adjectives in brackets. So what do you have to do? We have, for example, fast, we replace it with fast, fastest. Yeah. And then scanner okay. with the? Highest. Yeah. And then? The most revolutionary. Okay. Would you like to explain what did you, you, what did you use uh, most? Because it is? Long Very adjective. long. Yeah, long adjective. Thank you. See, photo finish is the easiest. Easiest. And we have to omit the why. Okay. And, uh -huh. Yeah. And then uh, this scanner gives you the, the best. 
Of course, we don't say the goodest, okay? Yeah. The best, because it is an irregular adjective. Uh, when we compare between two things, we say is better. And when it is on the superlative form, we say the best. I guess you already know this. Okay, scan with the? Least. Least. Thank you. Mm -hmm. With the least effort. Our university has bought the? Most, most modern. Most modern. Uh-huh, computer equipment. Okay, thank you. Here we have this one, uh, put the words in brackets into the correct form to make an accurate description of sizes of computers. Okay, I count on you. There are different types of computers. What do we say here? Uh, the largest. The largest, <laughs> the largest course, and most powerful. Yeah, because, uh -huh, thank you. Mainframe computers, uh, mini computers are? Smaller. smaller. Yeah, than mainframes, but are still very powerful, okay? It's a fact. Okay, second paragraph. Microcomputers are small enough to sit on a desk. They are? The most common. The most common. Okay. They are the most common type of computer. They are usually? More powerful. More powerful. Uh-huh. Than microcomputers. Mini computers. I mean, computers. Or those computers are smaller than smaller? desktops. And okay. yeah, they are not less powerful. They are more powerful than many my the mini computers. Mm -hmm. uh, so because we should have we should focus on the mini too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last paragraph. Portable computers are smaller, smaller than desktops. The largest mm -hmm. portables is a. Uh, the largest portables is a laptop. Uh, smaller portables about the sizes of a piece of writing paper are called notebook computers. Sub notebooks are smaller than notebooks. You can hold the smallest computers in one hand. They're called handheld computers or palm top computers. Okay, thank you so much. That's it. Thank you so much. Is it okay for superlative and uh, comparison? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you have no questions? No, for you. Okay. No. And about the exam, maybe it will be next Saturday. Did you know? Next Saturday is the exam? No, we didn't know that. Okay, maybe. I'm not cool. I'm not like 100% sure, but maybe. And it's going to be online. All right. Oh. Yep. Uh, uh, yep. I guess it's paragraph because uh, it's not. Uh... Wait, it's okay, an essay? It's... What is it? It's an essay? I guess it's a paragraph, not an essay. Uh, you will okay. have a question, you will have uh, something to write, you will have a topic to write about. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maybe you will include some uh, some grammar points like this one, like uh, including, for example, I don't know exactly the question yet. I don't know what are you going to write about, but I'm sure we will include some grammatical points like uh, this one. I will say, for example, use uh, superlative or uh, comparison, superlative adjectives or comparison in your paragraph, maybe. Yeah? Yes. Mm. Okay. Since you don't have questions, so you can leave. Please just write down your name before you, 